بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم مسعود احمد صدیقی فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف ایجوکیشن گورنمنٹ کالج یونیورسٹی حیدرآباد ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ یونٹ نمبر فائیو دیٹ از ٹیچر اسٹوڈنٹ اینڈ اسٹوڈنٹ ٹیچر انٹریکشنس دیٹ سپورٹ لرننگ ان دا کلاس روم اوکے وین وی اسٹارٹ دس ٹاپک دا فرسٹ کوشچن کمز ان آر مائنڈ دیٹ از what is teacher student and student teacher interactions now simply if we explain interaction is a kind of action that occurs as two or more objects or peoples have an effect upon one another now if we make it simple for example when we talk to each other when two person conversate with each other that is called انٹریکشن اس کا مطلب یہ ہوا کہ ٹیچر اور اسٹوڈنٹس جب آپس میں بات چیت کرتے ہیں کلاس روم کے اندر جو بھی ان کا باہمی عمل ہوتا ہے جو بھی ٹاپک سے ریلیٹڈ ڈسکشن ہوتی ہے سوال جواب ہوتے ہیں اسے ہم انٹریکشن کہتے ہیں کلاس روم کی سرگرمی میں بات چیت کی بہت ضرورت ہوتی ہے اور درس و تدریس کے عمل کو آسانی سے چلانے میں بھی مدد ملتی ہے بفور موونگ فردر آئی وانٹ ٹو شیئر دیٹ دس یونٹ از دی ایکسپینشن آف یونٹ نمبر ٹو وچ یو ہیو آلریڈی کورڈ ان وچ وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دی sources of complexity if i go more in detail if you remember we discuss about the diversity crowded spaces problematic individuals and groups now this topic goes into detail and through the interactions through the constructive interactions between teacher and students we can overcome all that complexity that we have discussed in unit number two. Ab ye wo saath elements hain jin ke zariye se hum positive interactions construct karte hain teacher aur student ke darmiyan. Let's discuss the elements of constructive interactions. There are total seven elements as you can see. Number one is respect. Yes, it's matter of give and take. Someone beautifully said, respect is a two-way street. If you want to get it, you have got to give it. Number two is credibility. Number three, fairness. Number four, trust. Number five, interest. Number six, enthusiasm. And number seven, adoptive teaching on the basis of these elements some principles are made to enhance teaching and learning in the classroom any educational institute make principles in order to shape the behavior of students some of those behaviors are intended to emulate the expectations of adulthood On the other hand, bullying, fighting, classroom disruptions and the rest are intended to keep a classroom working so that students can learn. But these principles which are going to be discussed are purely pertaining to classroom interactions. Seven principles for positive interaction to develop conducive environment for learning in the classroom. These principles have been planned as a guideline for teachers and students to follow to improve teaching and learning. Now there are seven principles are written. Encourage contact between students and faculty. Principle number two, develop reciprocity and cooperation among students. Principle number three, encourage active learning number four give prompt feedback 
principle number five emphasize time on task principle number six communicate high expectations principle number seven respect diverse talents and ways of learning now we are going to discuss all these seven principles one by one in detail principle number one encourage contact between students and teachers now this table is for the regular classroom these principles are for the regular classrooms number one know your student by name help students with problems in their extracurricular activities personalize feedback on student assignments attend student events advise students regarding academic courses and career opportunities seek out students you feel are having a problem with the course or are frequently absent encourage students to present their views and participate in class discussions have a regular office hour help student to work with other faculty let them know of options research etc of other faculty share personal experiences and values use the one minute paper at the end of class to get feedback on what the students is learning and how well they are learning it talk to students on a personal level and learn about their educational and career goals now according to current scenario as we are taking classes online another aspect is available that is called distance education like you have heard about lama iqbal open university or virtual university these are known as a distance education but now presently every educational institute in, is involved in providing online courses and lectures so these principles are improvised according to the current situation now what teachers and students do if they are using distance education or taking any online courses number one try computer conferencing clearly communicate your email response policy encourage email correspondence and discussion forum use especially beneficial for those that are shy or are from different cultures because it allows them a different venue of communication that might be more comfortable chat time online with teachers at various times weekly schedule should be given use pictures of faculty and students maintain eye contact with camera and local students arrange for group work at distance site principle number two <clears throat> develop reciprocity and cooperation among students now the rep, uh, reciprocity principle is one of the basic law of social psychology it says that in many social situations we pay back what we receive from others in other words if Ahmed does you a favor you are likely to return it to him now for the regular classes these principles are use cooperative learning groups have students participate in activities that encourage them to get to know one another encourage students to join at least one organization on campus assign group projects and presentations utilize peer tutoring Encourage students to participate in groups when preparing for exams and working on assignments. Distribute performance criteria to students is that each person's grade is independent of those achieved by others. 
Now, cooperative learning is a very healthy and interactive tool and considered the best teaching technique in the classroom. Dear students, you should note something very important that majority of the sub principles can be applied on the levels that from primary to higher secondary even for higher education but there are some sub principles which are not suitable or applicable for primary sections moreover principles for distance and online courses or classes are also not applicable for primary section now let's discuss principle number two for distance and online courses use chat sites and discussions forums for student to student communication set up teams to interact through email or phone bridges with enough people at each site encourage students to respond their peers work by posting it on the internet <clears throat> have a question and answer time online use teleconferencing for idea sharing encourage online discussion groups that require interactions work on group projects through phone and email team teach courses principle number three encourage active learning for the regular classroom ask a student to relate what they are learning to something in real life use a journaling give students concrete real life situation to analyze and you know that journaling is the part of final assessment of the semester encourage students to suggest new reading projects or course activities ask students to present their work to the class practice role modeling and use web-based case studies to practice new thinking skills encourage students to challenge your ideas the ideas of other students or those ideas presented in readings or other course materials in a respective respectful manner set up problem solving activities in small groups and have each group discuss their solution with the class <clears throat> for the distance and online courses allow flexibility in choosing material so that it is more meaningful to the learners for example students choose their own topic project format have an interactive web page debate online present students work for other students to review talk about what students are learning by creating a learning group through email telephone chat room or conferencing use email for group problem solving principle number four give prompt feedback for the regular classroom now feedback can improve a student's confidence self-awareness and enthusiasm for learning should enhance learning and improve assessment performance follow up presentations with a five minute period for students to write down what they have learned in the class uh, provide informative comments that show the students error and give suggestions on how they can improve discuss the result of class assignments and exams with the class and individual students vary assessment techniques offer online testing software simulations and web-based programs that provide instantaneous feedback have question and answer sessions use audio and video recordings to assess performances return grades for assess assignments projects and test within one week now for the online 
classroom or for the distance education principle number 3 is repeated here same so we have to move on to principle number 5 principle number 5 emphasize time on task Time on task, which is counted among the most important factors affecting student learning and achievement, can be defined as the amount of time a class spends in quality instruction. For the regular classrooms, expect students to complete their assignments promptly. Clearly communicate to your students that minimum amount of time they should spend preparing for class and working on assignments. Help students set challenging goals for their own learning. Have realistic expectations. Don't expect 10 papers in 10 weeks. Encourage students to prepare in advance for oral presentations. Explain to your students that consequences of non-attendance. Meet the students who fall behind to discuss their study habits, schedules, and other commitments. Be careful that time on task is a real learning, not busy work. Do not use technology for technology's sake. It must be relevant and useful to the topic. Have progressive deadlines for projects and assignments. Teach time management. Discussion topic from class posted in the discussion group on the web. For the distance and online courses, understand that there will be a problem with the distance and technology along the way. Identify key concepts and how those will be taught. Given the amount of time, decide what a realistically can be covered. Each distance class should involve some kind of achievement expectation that is laid out at the beginning of the course. Assign some content for out of class time. Give up the illusion of doing it all as you might in a regular classroom. Vary the type of interaction. In creating an interactive environment it can be overwhelming to the students and teachers if they if the types of interaction required are too time consuming consider both in and out of class time make sure you know what your goals are and that the learners understand them as well have regular discussions that require participation principle number six Communicate high expectations. What does it mean, high expectations to the students? Now, it's simply maintain eye contact with the students, especially while they are speaking. Give positive feedback on students' responses. Use positive non-verbal communication, such as smiling, nodding, in agreement, leaning forward, and etc. Now for the regular classroom there are sub principles give a detailed syllabus with assignments due dates and a grading rubric encourage students to excel at the work they do give students positive reinforcement for doing outstanding work encourage students to work hard in a class tell students that everyone works at different levels and they should strive to put forth their best effort regardless of what level it is help students set challenging goals for their own learning publicly acknowledge excellent student performance revise courses when needed so students remain challenged work individually with the students who are struggling to encourage them to stay motivated encourage students to do their best instead of focusing on grades for the distance 
and online courses sub principles are give a detailed syllabus with assignments due dates and a grading rubric call attention to excellent work in bulletin board postings or class list serves show examples of your expectations with previous students work provide corrective feedback state what you did and did not like be a role model to students model the behavior and expectations that you expect from students expect students to participate try to make assignments interesting and relevant to create interest ask students to comment on what they are doing suggest extra resources that support key points principle 7 respect diverse talents and ways of learning for the regular classroom use web technologies to allow students to pick and choose the learning experiences that fits the way they learn encourage students to speak up when they do not understand use diverse teaching activities and techniques to address a broad range of students select readings and design activities related to background of students provide extra material or activities for students who lack essential background knowledge or skills use learning contracts and other activities to provide students with learning alternatives for your courses encourage students from different races and cultures to share their viewpoints on topic discussed in the class use collaborative teaching and learning techniques and pair students so that complement each other abilities give students a problem to solve that has multiple solutions give them with the clues and examples consider field trips as well for the distance and online courses encourage students to express diverse points of view in discussions <clears throat> create learning activities filled with real life examples and diverse perspectives some websites are available that offer a simulated labs for all science subjects balance classroom activities for all styles explain theory from a practical approach first then add the structural approach that's all that i have got for teacher student and student teacher interactions that support learning in the classroom i do hope that your goal is to get these students as involved as possible and that when they leave they want it they can't wait to come back because they like the interaction that their interaction is the very strong motivating factor so i would like so i would recommend you to do that if you have any questions about this topic please let me know through the email or on our official whatsapp group i'll see you later take care allah thank you very much